Earth is warming. 97% of scientists now agree. Flooding, drought, food insecurity are just some of the dangerous problems of global climate change. We must act now. And surprisingly, we might just find the solution to our problem on the planet Mars. Human activity releases carbon dioxide, or CO2, which gathers in the Earth's atmosphere, heating our planet's surface. It's frequently called the greenhouse effect. The more we can reduce CO2 in the Earth's atmosphere, the more we can reduce the harmful effects associated with climate change. Humanity has become very good at capturing CO2 from the atmosphere in the form of a dense liquid. The problem comes in storing it safely, stably over millions of years. One exciting new development is called mineral carbon sequestration, which is taking CO2 gas and transforming it into solid rock. When CO2 dissolves in water and contacts certain rock types, these rocks release chemical elements such as magnesium, iron and calcium, which combine with the CO2 and water to deposit a mineral called carbonate. Norway, Iceland and the United States are now experimenting with this new technique at the pilot scale. However, before this can be scaled up large enough to be useful against global climate change, many questions must still be answered. This is where Mars comes in. Surface features show that water once flowed on the planet but the current atmosphere is now too cold and thin to support liquid water anymore. This means the planet must have had a denser, thicker atmosphere at some point in its past, most likely dominated by CO2. So where did this atmosphere go? Some was lost to space. Some froze as ice at the poles, but some was stored underground as the mineral carbonate. By exploring these carbonates using satellites, rovers and meteorites, we're discovering in detail how atmospheric carbon removal works at a planetary scale. The time has come to use these planetary lessons. We need to combine the apparently unrelated sciences of space with carbon capture and storage and turn our overheated skies into stone. Do this and we'll smash our man-made greenhouse. Mars' atmosphere loss may then become Earth's climate change saviour.